Hello, hello, this is M. Welcome to my channel, Omni Imago. Today I'm going to show you something that you might like. And you might like mainly if you're working with a certain number of uh, data sources in Excel, if your daily tasks are to copy paste data, to consolidate data manually. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it in one minute top. And you will also have a surprise if you watch this video till the end. So let's get started. And let's imagine that each day you are working with 10 data files. Each data file has, has a series of, um, of information. So let's open the first one, for instance, and to see that here we have, for instance, the year, the category, product, and cell. And you have the same uh, categories or different ones um, all over ag again, but split into different files. And what you are doing in each day is really to take and copy paste the data in different ways. So what you, what you are most probably are doing is to copy data like this, press on control C, copy it, paste it elsewhere. Or another option that you might have could be to go here at the bottom, and then right click, move or copy, change your source, add the new workbook or the destination file, and then create a copy. And that will uh, integrate your sheet into the new file. But what if you can do all this automatically? And what you are going to see is this kind of approach. Here you have a so-called smart dashboard. So you have some options. I had some graphical elements here. And let's imagine that this is exactly what you want to use. And you have here the import data. What the import data is actually doing is going to import the 10 worksheets in a few seconds, just like this. So let's see it in action. I click on import. And I have here the confirmation new data imported successfully. Let me check here. And we can see that actually we have our data sources. So we have source one, two, three, four, five, seven, till nine and 10 everything is imported here with that specific data. So it was that easy, single one single click to have everything imported. Then if you don't want to see that data sources, but keep them instead of right clicking and clicking on hide, of course, you can use a, a specific code. And that would be to click here on high sources. So you can see that we have all the sources visible here. We click on height sources. We have source data successfully hidden. And now we only have the main worksheets visible. The rest it's here hidden. Perfect. Then what we want to do is to actually refresh our data. So really with the new imported data to have new uh, charts and new visibility. So we initiated the data refresher. And now if we are going to the overview, and we click on refresh, we have the confirmation, and we have the data per category from the 10 files that we took. So if we click here, we go on the details, and we can see that we have actually already sorted by category coming up from the 10 sources that we imported. So it's no longer needed to do something. If you get your pivots and your charts, charts ready, you have everything viewed in a consolidated way. So this is how you can you can first start. And then let's say that you have uh, your your previous week data, and you want to delete 
everything that we have here so uh sort then sources you can click on delete data unnecessary data deleted successfully and now if we go back we don't have them anymore the data is deleted and even even better you are still viewing the previous data you are not losing anything yet because you didn't import it yet the new information so the file is now letting you see your data even that you deleted the data sources until you import new data and you press on refresh when you are going to press on refresh the data will be updated for instance if i'm pressing on the refresh button and going here to the overview and refreshing my overview everything disappeared so if you are going to refresh before importing new data your data will disappear because it will refresh on the late latest status so let me import it again now you can imagine 10 worksheets are being imported one click imported successfully we have them here hide sources successfully hidden refresh move to the overview refresh and we see back our data now we can imagine that this was updated data and that was uh, all now let's see how you can use this uh, this document for your own needs first what you need to have is to have a specific place where you are keeping your data for for instance you can place it on the desktop or on the data sources your documents wherever you want but to keep in mind that you need to have the data sources in the same place then you can have one two three ten twenty thirty data sources and you need to keep the same names for those data sources because this is how the file is working just to be able to recognize them and to use them appropriately and then uh, no matter which is the format that you prefer in my case i took a binary uh, format because it's uh, lighter and faster but you can have also a csv format or standard excel format doesn't matter the most important is to have the same format for all the data sources that you want to use and now Keeping this in mind, let's see how this uh, actually works in uh, this workbook. So if I'm right clicking here, for instance, the overview, I'm going to view code. Let me close what I have here. And let's imagine that you have this kind of view. What you need to do is really to go on your document. If you have multiple Excels open, you need to keep in mind that you need to go to Excel Automated and then click here on the plus sign to expand the mo modules. And what we have under the modules? We have first the import option, which is importing our data, uh, data sources. So here I have the path which actually I took from here. So it was simply where my sources were. I copied and then pasted it here, including that last bar. It's really a, a tricky thing. If you don't add that bar, the code won't work. So add your path here, just add that bar to let Excel understand that that's where your path ends keep the codes start and end codes and then for the file name you need to add the exact extension of your files as you have them here so if you want to double check which is your fi uh, file extension you can right click on your data sources and then in properties you can see that it's binary it's xlsb so you can double check this and then ensure that you have here the extension. This is the only thing that you need to do to customize it for your needs. Then we have the module for deletion. We have the delete. And here, what you need to do is if you have more than 10, you want to add 20 codes, 20 data sources, for instance, what you can do is to press here and enter and then add worksheet number 11 
and so on and so forth. And here again, you need to update this. Again, press and enter. Sorry. Take this. 11 and then call yourself uh, your source source 11 and the same here so really to add delete 11 and you can continue as much as you want and as much as your excel will be able to process data so let me delete this we stick to our 10 sources and that's it. And here you can see that you have also the uh, message that you can, of course, customize as you wish. Then for the hide option, the code that it's hiding actually our worksheets, again, you have here one line of code. If you want to add more, again, let's take our example with uh, source 11, you only need to copy, paste, and change the source name into your name. So this is pretty much what we have as coding because refresh, it's actually refreshing everything in our, uh, in our file. It's refreshing the pivots that you saw and it's refreshing the query. We are not going to enter too much into the uh, pivots or to the query. The pivots actually are those ones. So this is the pivot table and this is the pivot chart. And by refresh all, we mean to do for all of them at once that refresh option. And then for the query, what I meant was that if we go here, we can see that what's hap happening be behind the scene is that whenever you are importing data and you are refreshing in this query, all your data is being consolidated into one table. And actually the reason for you being able to see data after the deletion of the 10 worksheets, for instance, is coming from this query, which keeps your data until you press refresh again. So this is how the, uh, the file is working actually. And now uh, that we are getting closer to the end, the surprise is that you have at the end of this video a reference to another video that will show you how you can get this Excel file just because you like Omni Imago, you like to watch it on your TV for relaxation purposes, you like to watch it on your PC or laptop to learn about Excel, Word, PowerPoint, software, hardware, whatever you are interested in and you can find on Omni Imago and then you can actually take your documents and starting with 15th of February 2022 the main goal of Omni Imago will be for you to watch the video see if you like it and if you like it then go and download your file. So not to be read only, view only, but really to let you have, to let you own those documents and to let you use for your own personal or professional benefit, really to make your life better. So I really hope that you enjoyed it, the, uh, in, you enjoyed this video. Please do like the video if you enjoy it, subscribe to my channel and watch at the left your video to see how you can get this file for your own purpose. Thanks a million, have a perfect day, bye bye.